Zack Kreger's movie Barbarian already had to be brought back from the dead once, by film company New Regency after its financing fell apart before the start of production. So the actor-turned-director was categorically not expecting a theatrical release for his twisted horror film when he finished shooting it in Bulgaria. But unbeknownst to him, executives from Walt Disney Company, which releases new Regency films, had seen Barbarian at an early audience screening in Long Beach and thought it was right for the big screen. The $4 5 million movie, about a young woman who finds herself double booked with a strange man at a rental home, ended up opening at no. 1 at the box office and eventually grossing more than $40 million in ticket sales. I thought, best case scenario, I could get it on some streaming platform that'll get enough eyeballs on it so that somebody will let me make another movie in the future, Gregor said. So the idea that it's had this incredible life as a theatrical movie. I honestly did not dare to dream anything like that. The film is another prime example of the horror genre's stellar run of success this year, and why some see it as a rare bulwark against the takeover of Hollywood by superhero films and other tentpole action movies. Yes. Horror has long enjoyed a loyal audience. But 2022 has proved an especially strong year commercially for chilling flicks, producing hits including Universal Pictures and Blumhouse's The Black Phone, directed by Scott Derrickson, $160 million in global box office sales, Nope, from Jordan Peele, $171 million, and Paramount Pictures. More recently, Smile, which was planned as a straight-to-streaming release until Paramount saw test audiences' reaction, spent two weekends at No! 